I feel like period stigma, menstrual health care in Singapore, and period poverty are issues that can't really be solved overnight. So for us, when we do kind of implement our different solutions and try to like think ahead, we do really want to plan long term, and we think our organization will really go on for years. Go With The Flow was inspired by my sister and I. So we volunteered at a monthly food distribution in our community. And one day Yvonne just mentioned, oh, why is there no sanitary pads given to our beneficiaries? And that's when it all started. It starts off with the first stage, which is donation. So we implement our donation boxes across Singapore where we get the public to donate sanitary pads to our donation boxes. And then the second stage is sorting, where we bring it back to our facility and volunteers help to sort pads into different packages, which we then distribute our final stage to the different beneficiaries and low-income communities in Singapore. Um, so that means like different social service centres, community centres, and other groups that we connect with so that we can get our pads to be accessible to them. This is our bag and this is what we pack inside. So the first thing you see is a little message from Go With The Flow. And then we have three different packs of pads because we want to accommodate for each menstruator and their different needs. So the first pack is a pack of night pads. And then we have a pack of day pads. And a pack of panty liners. Yep. And so each of these like, kind of go towards one month's worth of sanitary pads for each beneficiary. I'm Nita, this is my daughter Jamie and my son Andrew and we're volunteering to do deliveries for Go With The Flow. So sharing this experience with my children is immensely rewarding because it helps young people understand that this is not something that should be stigmatised, that it's a normal thing that young people can talk about it without embarrassment or shame. Hello! How are you? Happy holiday! Before receiving, uh, we will have to do with kitchen towels. Kitchen towels or either, you know, the good morning towel, that one, right? Yeah, so I have to teach them other alternatives, lah. so to survive. Lah. Mm. This is a very sensitive thing to talk about when you say that, oh, I cannot afford to buy, then people will be like, huh, sanitary pads you cannot afford to buy, but you don't know, you know? If I can lessen their burden a bit, why not? And my children also, they will bring it to school. My uh, younger one, because some of her friends, they don't even know how to use it. I don't know lah. Huh? Maybe uh, it's maybe still a taboo that you have to teach your daughters about all these things. And then I always spare inside her bag. Then she will come back. You know, she say uh, it's a sad thing. You know, when some people don't know how to even put this. And then I say, you do you feel good about it? She say yeah. Then I'm gonna bring this packet. You know. In Singapore, although we always say that we are a first world country, but actually there is period poverty, but it's just go unaddressed. We really do hope that like with kind of connecting with more volunteers and getting more members of the community to want to be part of the cause and also have a stake in the cause that we can kind of grow more as a community of go with the flow and also just help to serve our community and give back.